Hello, my name is Russell Singer with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering Team. This video will demonstrate how to download and install a trusted SSL certificate in the Macintosh OS X operating system using the Google Chrome browser. There may be cases where you receive security warnings in your browser such as what you see on the screen here. And this is simply because your browser and your Macintosh do not trust the SSL, the security certificate that the remote server is presenting. So this procedure can be used to install that remote certificate onto your Macintosh as a trusted certificate. This eliminates these warnings and will enable some more seamless functionality between the server and your local Macintosh when you're using secure communications. So in my case, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the certificate for a conferencing server that's out on my network that it was previously untrusted. But this same generic procedure could be used to install a certificate for any server that's out on the network that you would like to trust. Now this procedure applies to Macintosh OS X uh, version 10.6.8 or higher. So that's basically the Snow Leopard version or higher of Macintosh OS X. And the first thing you'll want to do is go down to your Applications folder there in the, in the taskbar at the bottom of your screen. And we're going to go scroll all the way down to the bottom of the applica application list and find the Utilities folder there. From the Utilities folder, we'll want to open the Keychain Access application. This Keychain Access application is where all of your trusted certificates are stored on your uh, operating or in your operating system. So any trusted certificate for the OSX operating system will be found here in this application. And this is also the application used to manage those certificates. So let's go back to the browser now that we have that application open. Again, this is the browser that was giving us the error or the security warning saying that the certificate is not trusted. Now again, this is a conferencing server that I have on my internal network. So I'm going to select a proceed anyway, which is basically saying that I want to trust this certificate anyway, or this server. This will actually open up a pop-up window for me because it's a conferencing server collaboration agent. I get a pop-up window here. And again, you can see by the HTTPS with the red marks through the, or the red strike through, that uh, this is an untrusted certificate. So what I'm going to do is go up to the icon there next to the HTTPS, and I'm just going to left click that icon. This will drop down for me in Chrome the uh, certificate information box. And what I want to do here is just click the button that says certificate information. This will allow me to see details for the certificate. And there is the certificate that is currently not trusted by my operating system. Now if I want to, I can view the details here just to verify that the certificate is indeed from this remote server and that I do want to trust it. But from this point, what I'm going to do is simply drag that certificate, the icon for that certificate, uh, into a Finder window in my Mac OS X operating system here. And I'm actually just going to drag this to the folder for my desktop, which essentially puts this certificate as a file on my desktop. And you can see that it's now listed there in, as part of my desktop. So now what we'll do is go back to the Keychain Access application. I'll just bring that to the foreground here. And all I'm going to do is simply drag and drop this certificate uh, into two different folders within that Keychain Access uh, application. The first folder I'll drag it and in, dro drop into is the System folder or the system keychain as it's listed there on the left. As you can see, this prompts me for my password just to make sure that uh, I have permission to do this. So I'm going to enter my system password here. And now you can see that that certificate is in the list of certificates that are trusted by the system. Now you still see that there's an error there. It says that this certificate is, uh, is basically owned by an untrusted or an unknown authority. But that's okay, we'll deal with that in just a moment. So next I'm going to drag and drop that certificate into the X509 Anchors uh, keychain that's listed on the left there. And as I select that, you'll notice again that it says that this certificate was signed by an unknown authority. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is go back to my system keychain 
and I'm going to find that certificate that I previously loaded. I'll just right click that certificate and I'll select the option that says get info. Now from the pop-up box here, what I'm going to do is select the trust arrow there and I'm going to drop that section down so that I can see the details under the trust heading. So you'll notice there for trust that it's set up to use the system defaults, which essentially means that if this certificate was not signed by a known certificate authority, uh, a public one such as VeriSign or something like that, that we're really not going to trust it completely. So if I wanted to change that, all I have to do is drop down this little box here and change the trust to always trust. Now once I do that, I can then select the certificate again from the list there. And you'll notice that now it says this certificate is marked as trusted for all users. So now I've successfully imported this certificate as both a system and X509 certificate that's trusted by my Mac operating system. So in order to take advantage of this, what I need to do is close all of my browser windows that were open and reopen them. And once I do that, you'll notice that instead of seeing the red HTTPS with a strike through, I now have a green HTTPS, which indicates that this certificate for this server is now trusted by my operating system. Thank you for your time today. We welcome your comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at avaya.com or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.